Hi Tecla user, welcome to Tecla Open API. In this video, I will give you a demonstration to my connection based plugin. This is our form for the connections which will be reflecting in the Tecla interface. Once I will insert this tool inside the Tecla structure plugin folder. We included four tabs in it. As I said, it is a connection based plugin unlike the Tecla application. You can modify its input value after I applied it as well. So let's go to the Tecla interface. As I already placed it at Tecla plugin folder, it must be there in application and catalog. To check, I am using shortcut Ctrl F. Write my plugin name, main plugin. Here I get it. For the implementation, just click once on it. It will ask you to pick the main member. Here, it is asking for pick the main member. After that, we need to choose the secondary member. Pick secondary member. Pick secondary member. So here it came. Let's close it. Double click on its cap. The form will come. As you all can see, it is a splice connection. But one by one, I will give you overview for each tab and about its functionality. So come on the web both first time once one of my client asked us to provide the separate separate bolt group for the primary beam and for the secondary beam so in this connection i have provided the primary bolt group and the secondary bolt group and for the primary bolt whatever the property i have used in the primary bolt group the same property i have used in the secondary bolt group so let's check in the primary bolt group i can provide the separate bolt size bolt standard like i'm changing the 325 site and shop workshop i have provided the options here and as well the tolerance you can change here and shading bolt you can choose yes or no i'm choosing yes Okay, the same you can change for the secondary bolt group. Like I'm not keeping the same value. I'm changing the bolt size three by four. Here I'm using not three twenty five n. I will use three twenty five x. Here I'm choosing side. Here I will use one by two. Okay, here I am choosing no. Okay, keep in mind I am not uh, using AISC standard here. I am just give you the demonstration and checking whether this test box is working correctly or not. So select the cap and modify it. So. Let's inquire it to check everything is as per the input I'm giving to my form or not. Check diameter 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Name 325, 325. Bolt type workshop. Here bolt type is workshop. Third in bolt, yes, yes. Okay, also check the things for the secondary bolt. Here I have provided 3x4 bolt dia, 3x4, 325x, 325x, x is not coming here, I will change another value, side, side, tolerance 1 by 2 1 by 2 whole tolerance is coming, thread, no, no, ok, this time let's check, 
the bold standard also i am changing it here 490 okay let's inquire 490 490 so let's see this cost check okay another functionality i have given is bold path i have provided three options for primary bold group as well as in secondary bold group let's check how it works if i'm choosing the primary as a bold path let's modify and check inquire in this the primary part is red okay so bold part is with primary bold another if i'm clicking near side plate and modify it and again i will inquire it this time if i am choosing near side plate the near side contour plate is getting red that means bold part it was near side plate okay now let's choose far side plate and pick the component and modify it as we have far side and near side plate and this time i am choosing bold part with far side plate so inquire it and you can see that far side plate is getting red so this is also cross verified and same happening with the secondary bold like here i am choosing near side so if i am inquiring the second bold and the red near side plate is getting red okay so it's working let's change it again the primary okay control p another thing i have provided bolted or welded so we have the three options here we can make our connection bolted welded and welded and bolted boot so let's check if i'm changing it bolted this bolted welded this getting welded if i'm choosing both you can see bolt and weld both are coming same happening with the secondary beam bolt group if i'm choosing bolt bolt if i'm choosing welded it is getting welded if i'm choosing both it will be bolted and welded both let's check the bolt functionality here please analyze these things that these four things are shaded once i'm checking on it what happening if i am providing this slot this three boxes is available okay if i am selecting this slot here this three boxes is enable if i am choosing the oversize this box only is available okay as is generally happening like if i am selecting this and checking this see this things so i have provided this thing in my form okay so it will be easy for everyone so let's provide this slot like i'm providing two here and slot i'm providing odd see let's click on it see it is considering our input to one slot slot here here everything is working correctly and we have provided the odd so it is coming odd okay let's control z and we open it let's check this thing i am providing 1 by 2 gap 
between the primary and secondary part i am providing 2.5 here here i am providing bolt to edge distance i am providing here 1 and here i am providing 3 and 5 here also i am providing 1 let's keep it 1 1 by 2 1 1 by 2 and here i am providing like 4 and 3 so let's check its gap it is 1 by 2 here the plate to top of beam distance to 1 by 2 ok and bolt to plate edge distance 1 1 3 5 Edge distance one one by two one one by two four three one by two everything is coming as per the input I have provided through my form okay so here our next tab is part in part you will get the prefix part prefix part start number part assembly prefix part assembly start number you can fill your profile choose your material name also we have provided and whatever the finish you need to put here you can put okay so let's start i am using galvanization here and here i am writing the plate i am choosing the material For the plate I will use 836 and here I will make it a small P1 and for assembly I will use get a capital P and 1 here I will use 3 by 8 ok let's modify it and check before checking I would like to tell you this information will work for near side and far side plate both so I am double clicking on this plate to verify whether this input is from the uh, form is going into the component or not so whatever the data I have provided here like part prefix part prefix P1 capital P1 the same I have used the 836 material so it is coming here plate name is their galvanization and the profile also coming so whatever the data I have provided from the form is coming on the component so here it is very clear. let's go to the next step that is weld here I have provided weld number 1 and weld number 2 weld number 1 is for the near side plate and weld number 2 is for the far side plate this is our near side plate and back side our far side plate ok so if I am choosing both and weld that time these things will work in web board I have chooses both so whatever the size and type and all the properties I will provide from the form it will come here in the component so I have provided these things and you can change here let's choose anything I'm not again I'm telling you that I'm not going with the yes I'm just giving you the demonstration whether all the things are working correctly or not so I'm choosing anything ok I 
and here for the false height I'm using this one and here I'm using continuous here I'll provide a tc win tc win ok so let's modify it and check this work weld is work for the near side plate and this weld is work for far side plate ok and let's double click on this and verify ok whatever the symbol of the weld I have provided is coming correctly T2 angle is coming T2 everything is coming as per the information I have provided to the form ok and text also working same I will check for the far side so you can check that symbol everything is coming as for the form side everything is coming as per the form ok I have also provided the general tab here you can change your up directions you want lock or not class also you can change connection code also you can change here ok and uh, here if you want to save your connections like uh, something save connection if you will save it it will come on this this also working in this form ok so likewise you can make your own connection according to your requirement it will be very beneficial for you and your company thank you for watching my video have a nice day